Uh, my name is Ignacio, I'm, as Enrique told to you, I'm working in the geomarketing and GIS department in Megaposter Spain. And I would like to uh, talk with you about uh, our activities, just two minutes about our activities. And then we would like to show you how we have been working with ESY technology in order to create um, our EIS server solution. Okay? So uh, this is the agenda that we are going to follow. Um, in terms of uh, introduction to MediaPost Spain, uh, yeah. just one slide to, to tell you about our services. Um, we are a geomarketing a relationship marketing company. That means that we have different channels in order to help to our clients to um, to maintain the relationship uh, between their uh, between companies and their own uh, customers. Uh, the most important channel for us right now in this moment, but will won't be in the future, uh, is the non-address mailing, the reflect delivery uh, activity. And if we would like to offer a global service, uh, we need to to give to our clients all those kind of uh, channels like loyalty programs, uh, telemarketing, logistics, distribution services, and direct marketing services, geomarketing, development, consulting, and so on. So um, one of our objectives uh, is to, to make all the channels equally relevant in order to, to, to offer a global service to, to our clients. In all of this uh, picture, as you can imagine, the geography matters. Geography is a very key point for us, and this is why we would like to, to, to show you how we have been working with, with ESY server uh, technology. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to log in into my application, my web application. As you can see, I'm using uh, Firefox. I just need a browser because it's a web application. And I'm logging as uh, an and sales for uh, person, for, for instance. And, uh, okay, I'm going to my application. As you can see, we have a map, of course. And you can navigate for, uh, with your uh, interactive tools, like zoom in, zoom out. And, and you can see that we, we can use uh, different uh, kinds of, of base maps of cartography, okay, from ESY Online, for instance, or uh, Bing maps from Microsoft, uh, imagery, uh, <coughs> layers. So I can uh, also select uh, different uh, entities. Uh, for instance, I, I am able to center my map into a postal code or I can look for uh, census tracts or uh, even as our own sectors and our and one others if we want, okay? We go to this postal code and when I uh, center my map here, I can uh, select different entities in terms of uh, visualization. Go zoom out. Okay, uh, in red, the red lines are our postal codes our uh, census uh, tracts, okay, with all the uh, social demographic information behind, and our own sectors in order to uh, help the delivery, non-address uh, delivery activity. So, if I am a sales uh, person in the sales department, I, maybe I'm working with my client to create a new campaign to deliver uh, something, to deliver um, a geomarketing action. So I can select all these entities with different selection methods, like uh, manually, or by clicking them up. As you can see, it's very easy for non-GIS uh, users. And the key point is that I have here all the alphanumeric information that I have into my geodatabase okay, for the whole Spain uh, territory. So um, I can create the campaign with uh, different selection methods, I told you, like uh, manually or even a buffer. By clicking in the map again, I can select all these entities. As you can see, it's a very, uh, it's very uh, fast response with uh, ESRI technology. Um, okay, I have all of this information. Um, 
I have all the information about media posts, uh, their, our own data that we capture in the in the field with our post funds. Um, it depends on the of the kind of the services. We have different number of householders to deliver and so on. Um, for instance, I'm going to select with another uh, method, uh, census tract, uh, with uh, an isochron method from uh, 5, 10, and 15 minutes uh, driving, time, driving time or pedestrian time. I'm going to choose uh, pedestrian time, I'm clicking them up, and I'm creating the isochrons, as you can see, very fast. Uh, right now, it's running a geoprocessing model behind, uh, behind this application in, the, in our server. Um, we have, again, here, all the alphanumeric uh, information. I'm sorry about that. I'm selecting uh, postal codes. I'm going to, to create, again, the isochrons. And right now, I'm selecting census tracts. Okay? I can um, keep uh, or delete uh, a census track if I don't, I'm not interested in. And of course, I can uh, create uh, thematic maps uh, with all of this information, not only in terms of uh, uh, number of householders or number of litter boxes. As you can see here, I can uh, delete them at selection method, and I can say, OK, to my client, okay, because I'm working with, with him. OK, uh, here you have, in the yellow sectors, you have um, more uh, householder or more uh, leaflets to deliver. So you can decide, you can make decisions in order to create your, your campaign uh, around your, your sales point. Uh, of course, in, if I am working, for instance, in a uh, uh, sales department, I want, to, I want to tell to my client that I know very well what's, what's going on in that area in terms of socio-demographic information. So I can create uh, thematic maps about the socio-economical level, for, for instance. Okay. And here, the green uh, area is where I have more high level, uh, economical level in this uh, delivery area. So um, I can create my campaign. And of course, as all the EIS solutions <coughs> Are uh, able, you are able to, to know very well what's going on in that area, as you can, and you can, uh, for instance, click in a map and uh, connect uh, to see the, 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 the most realistic view as you can with uh, Google uh, Street View, but inside our application, so you can see the typology of the buildings and so on. So and uh, okay, if I am uh, working to the back office department, maybe I would like to, to offer a, a report map to my client. For instance, I have all uh, this uh, campaign, this uh, map, so with a thematic map, and I can um, export these uh, maps to my client so I can communicate with my client in map way. Okay? So, Again, another kind of, of user, the back office department. <coughs> and of course, if I am working into the production department, I am able to use uh, other uh, tools. We, are, we don't have uh, many times, so, so I can uh, show you all the functionality. But for instance, we have this kind of uh, models that we can use to, to help uh, a specific client, like, like Domino's Pizza, for instance, where my production team are able to uh, to use uh, to, to go to one store and to apply to select all the um, the sectors from uh, from this client. <coughs> go to my map, and here I have my uh, sectors, their own sectors from this client. To, in order to create the delivery map for, for this client. So it helps a lot to the production team in order to save time to create the, the delivery maps. <coughs> okay. Um, what's uh, next in this uh, development? Uh, okay, 
botnet. You, can, uh, you have been seeing that we we can uh, offer this GIS platform and uh, this GIS functionality to our internal departments. But uh, why not? We are thinking about uh, offer this platform to be used by our final clients. Um, this is not the future. This is uh, the uh, real situation right now. We are um, working with clients like. IKEA or Conforama or Kiabi, and they are using our platform. Why they are interested in to use our platform? Because they can uh, upload their own information, their business information, where I have more clients and things like that, and they can mix all these uh, layers, because they are geographical layers, um, with our uh, uh, geodatabase information. So they can uh, mix all of them and take into account the geographic spot, the spatial component and to make the better decision for the next campaign or for uh, every time he wants. So, um, finally, I would like to show you that well, this, this product is a kind of cost, uh, customization about DYS that we call InfoView. Okay. And it's uh, so much easier to use than this in this application. Uh, finally, we are working um, into great uh, mobile applications in the, into Android and uh, EOS platforms. Uh, not only for our internal department, in order to capture the data or in order to save time to um, report from the field to my systems, to my internal system, but also why not to offer this kind of application with geographical component to the final client in order to know uh, how is my uh, area of influence around my sales point and things like that. So I'm gonna show you uh, one uh, video, just three uh, minute, uh, three minutes uh, video demonstration about a prototype that we are uh, right now working on it. So um, it's a it's a video that uh, where you can see. Um, see that we have been using a Samsung Galaxy tablet in order to, to test this application and in the video uh, we are working with a team manager that it's uh, outside it's in the field working with uh, a lot of postman delivering uh, uh, non-address uh, leaflets and uh, this, this person is able to, to see the daily work for, for me like, as a team manager and I am able to to click in, uh, in my sectors, my delivery sector, and to have all the information that I, that I need. So, uh, like uh, how many leaflets I have to deliver today, how many sectors I have to, to deliver, um, all of the information that we need uh, in the field from my geodatabase, from my uh, centralized database. Of course, I can um, look for my team, for my postman, and see uh, uh, where are the sectors that this person has to have to have to deliver. Because the goal of this application is to see, okay, this sector is already done, it's already finished. So I click in the map and I send all this information to the central, to the uh, unique uh, geodatabase. Okay. For instance, uh, in the video, uh, I'm going to select a postman that. Uh, has right now already finished uh, to deliver a sector, David Gomez, and the red one uh, sector is going to change to green because we we are editing the geodatabase directly and to change the attributes. So uh, the team manager uh, is looking into the field, the, the, the job of this person, and <coughs> Hopefully the sector changes to, to uh, green color. So we, the key point is that we are sending the information from the field to my geodatabase. So I can uh, save a lot of time because I don't have to go to my office uh, to, to keep uh, the, this data. And the key point is that I can 
uh, report. I can refer to my final client about the situation of their campaign in real time. So this is a very uh, exciting uh, functionality uh, for us. And just to, to finish, I would like to um, to give you uh, the key features of my presentation. Uh, all of these stuff is, uh, are the things that I would like you to remember when you go out from this session. But for me, the, the last one, the competitive advantage, uh, is the most important one. Uh, thanks to the uh, GIS technology, especially to the GS uh, technology, we, we are able to have a very competitive advantage in front of our competitors because uh, we are using this kind of, of solution. So the geographic information help us to, to help to our clients finally. Okay. Um, and that's all. If you have uh, any questions, uh, let me know. Um, thank you very much for, for your attention. Da-da-dum, da-da-da.